Um, in regards to the new building, basically the classroom is specced out exactly like I would want it. Um, I wanted the ability for students to sit basically anywhere in the room and still be able to see the projector and still be able to see what we're doing on the overheads. Um, and that is like the coolest part to me besides the studio itself, is to, is to have a classroom where you can intentionally tell it's meant to be a learning environment, not just a bunch of rows and columns. I'm not a very traditional teacher in that regard. Um, our new building, uh, the new part of the building, which is a studio, is, I, don't, I mean, I just, all I can do is brag about it. It's so cool to have all this equipment. And it's stuff we gotta learn, honestly. It's stuff that I got to learn. I like the lighting part. I like the, all the cameras. We just got to learn how to utilize it because, you know, when you're used to not having something and making it work, then, and all of a sudden you got something so much more grandeur. You want to take care of it and you want to really learn how to use it to its fullest ability. And that's something that we're still working on. Um, so let's take away that broadcasting component because we only do that for about nine weeks um, and it's only a, like a small piece of what our curriculum is. Our big, big part of our curriculum is a storytelling component and with the advanced kids it's actually a little bit easier because there's, that's part of the reason they signed up for the class. It wasn't just to start learning how to edit but it was to utilize that edit to give out a message to communicate with other people in some way, form or fashion. Um, I've had a few students go on to college studying the same stuff. I treat the class in such a way that you're, hopefully your first semester is pretty simple. I want it to be as easy as possible for you your first semester or first two semesters in college when it comes to the stuff that we actually do study, where it be um, at AV productions, graphic design, or commercial photography. Um, the goal is to make sure you're successful outside of this classroom. I love it. I think you definitely have to have a, a taste for this stuff. You gotta, you gotta be interested in it, going into it. Or, um, it's a lot of tedious work, but uh, I think it definitely pays off in the end. A lot of this stuff is um, time consuming, but I think the end result is the best. Finally, being able to see uh, what you've worked for um, and show it to other people is a great feeling. I, I think that's what I love most about it, being able to show off my work and uh, especially uh, my teacher, Mr. Davis, you know, I love I mean, when he's proud, makes me happy. Uh, you know, I've been a student for uh, over, over a year. I've had him for a few classes for a both AV and uh, graphic design. So I, I definitely love this class. I, I, I can recommend it to anyone as long as they're willing to try it. I'm, I'm so glad. I, I think uh, before we were a little kind of forgotten about, you know, a, less and less people were coming to uh, AV and graphic design and uh, commercial photography, but hopefully uh, now that they're kind of recognizing it and kind of pushing it out there that more people will come in here and even more freshmen will start getting into it quicker instead of, uh, like with me, I kind of got into it a little late, so as a senior now it kind of sucks that um, it's my last year, but uh, hopefully uh, other people can experience a little longer and uh, do more. If I was to promote my course right now, it would be basically I invite everyone and I'm pretty sure that there's a home for you in one of the three courses, either Commercial 2, Commercial 1, AV1, AV2, um, Graphic Design 1, Graphic Design 2. All those classes lead to practicums, which is an internship. Um, several of those classes have certifications, which are actual certifications that are professional um, and bring your creativity. That's literally like, the, if out of many of the students I have, the piece that's missing sometimes is the creativity. They want you to tell them the story that they should make. I want them to tell me the story that they should make. And with that, I try not to, I don't want to embark on them so many rules that they make my story. I want them to make their story. You know, because we're always told, at least growing up, was what is your story, not what's mine.